Today's episode of Stony Ridge Farmer, we're gonna see a lot of cow poop. <laughs> hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today's the day we're gonna get the cows in this holding pen, we're gonna run them through the chute, and we're gonna do our ear tagging today. So we'll be banding calves, we'll be taking bull calves and turning them into steers, which will be used for consumption on the farm and for sale, hopefully in the future. And we're gonna run our cows through, make sure they're good to go, and put their ear tags in. So this will be our first time running our cows. I'm not so sure we're gonna be running the donkeys through, but they're curious about everything. So cows are making their way toward us right now, and uh, we'll give them a little bit of grain, draw them into our pen right here, and start working them through the chute. It's gonna be a good time. Woo! All right guys, so the curious critters are already circling us. This is my stepdad, Barry. He's gonna be helping me out. Good morning. Neither one of us have ever used this cattle handling equipment. So if one gets away from us, you can chuckle a little bit, but it might happen, just so you know. So what we're using today is a sweep system from Tartar Farm and Ranch, and this is a Cattle Master Series 6 head gate and squeeze chute right here. So. We have the option of releasing the cow from the side here or from the front right here. And this is a sheeted uh, sweep system right here. This gradually tightens down where the cow will go into there and will squeeze their belly, <laughs> make them comfortable, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we'll do the ear tag. So basically the cows will get their ears pierced and that's for identification purposes. If we need to medicate any cow or anything like that, we'd do that at this time too. This is the sweep system. This gate swings open. The cows go into there and they slowly work their way right through the handling equipment. So that's it. They are ready to go. Check it out. <laughs> They want to go through this. So the goal is not to have them here. The goal is to have them in here. So I've got a barrel in there. I'm going to flip that over and I'll put a little sweet feed in here and the cows will come right in and do their thing. So we got our temporary corral set up right here. We're gonna go ahead and start running the cows through the chute right here. This is a two-man operation for sure. It probably would help to have three, one in the pen, running them through, uh, one closing everything down, and one of us to uh, do the ear tagging. But we're gonna have some fun with it, so let's start rolling them through. First cow in. What, <laughs> what, how long did it take to get one cow in? <laughs> about about 40, 30 seconds. <laughs> about 30 seconds, but it, <laughs> it took about uh, 40 minutes of coaxing. <laughs> so we got first cow in. Uh, we'll go ahead and check her out. She's already got an ear tag. This is the lead cow right here. 39 and number three are the lead cows typically. So, hey girl.
So the ear tag equipment here is just like an ear piercer pretty much. So we load this tag right here and some of these cows already have holes in their ears so we don't have to poke any holes. We load that in, we load this little part in. It's a little spring loaded clip. Slide that guy in right there and then you're ready to tag. So it goes right into the ear cartilage right there and this will be number 15. So the way this chute works, if you walk this direction towards the cows, the cows tend to move that way. So they'll go right on in the chute. Then it opens up and it basically holds their head in place so that you can put the ear tags in. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting little setup and it's kind of automatic. This cow's tag, ear tag, is very, very faded. So we'll replace that ear tag with a new ear tag with the same number, 25. So with this cow, we've got an existing hole Just that simple, that easy. Just snaps right in. He's good to go. Got our new tag. The chute is designed to squeeze. That's the squeeze. That helps to calm the cow a little bit. We'll release the squeeze, like so, and then we'll release the cow from the chute, just like that. And she can go on out. Very smooth, very easy, very low stress. That's what this is all about, guys. Now, some of you asked about wormer and deworming and fly tags. We're not using fly tags, but I am using a bit of dewormer. We do have some cows that need to be dewormed. I did a little fecal test and found that we have a little bit of a parasite load. So we are gonna use some ivermectin on a couple of these cows. Just that simple. The cow just walks right in. His head is stuck right here. It seems a little jumpy. Well, the jumpiness will stop as soon as we give it a hug with the squeeze right there. Calms the cow. Should be gentle as a kitten in about two minutes. So this is the younger number 25. The guy I bought the cows from numbered the cows the same as the mama. So this is the younger number 25. She'll be bred this year when we put the bull in. We're gonna take her old tag off. Basically just take a razor knife Snip off the end and we'll put her new tag in. We're going to call her number 21 now. Just like that. Good girl. <laughs> Deal. So we're keeping all the cows in here that have been done so far. We're going to go ahead and release them back into the pasture and work these guys. We did squeeze in our chute just a little bit tighter right here so we could corral the cows all into that one spot. We're almost done and this has been about an eh, hour and a half process. The first time is going to be the hardest. Uh, we will have to call a vet to come up. Uh, we were not going to uh, castrate our bulls until they got a little bit bigger, a little bit older, and they're a little bit too big for the bander. In other words, our bull's testicles are about that big versus little baby bull testicles. So either we got to get a bigger bander or we'll probably just have a vet come out and take care of this for us, or we'll take them to the market. It's working good. By the way, guys, this is the tartar sheeted sweep system. Nothing's got through the head gate. For that guy that was leaving the comment, oh, you're gonna have calves running through the head gate. This equipment has worked flawlessly. Yeah, come on.
right guys, 24 cows gone through. We've got five more to go, that's it. So nice to be able to handle these cows this gently. They're like big cats, big 1200 pound cats. So these are the cows that have already been ran through and we got five more to go. So you'll see this young bull, we're gonna put the tag in his ear right, right quick. Just simple and easy, no pain, no problem. He's ready to go. Close this guy back, rotate it in, just like that. When this cow comes through, his head will go right in through there, and lock into place, and we can uh, check him out. I don't think this cow needs an ear tag, so we'll just check him out. Come on, girl. Good. Number 40, she's a good cow. No ear tag needed. Make this a pleasant experience. All right, girl. There you go. Come on, girl. So, with a cow like this, you can see her head's down. She's nice and calm now. The squeeze chute is squeezing her. When you put pressure on the side of a cow, and I'm covered with sweat, it's hot out here. When you put pressure on them, it calms them down. It's okay, girl. Once again, we'll load our tagging gun right here. Just like getting your ears pierced. Or whatever else you'd like to get pierced, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. So we'll be number 22 from now on. We're tagging the bulls and the steers on the left side and the heifers on the right side if they don't already have tags in them. So just kind of massage that ear, get her calm. Calm down, it's okay. She's already got an existing hole, so we go right through that hole. And that's it, she's good to go. Go ahead, don't knock the camera over now. <laughs> One more cow to go, guys, and we got it, awesome. So once again, this gate will open. You see a lot of manure. When cows get uh, stressed like this, they poop a lot, so expect that for sure. So we'll go ahead and close this guy back. We'll release it. To the inside right here. Open up. Go ahead, girl. Okay. Come on. There you go. We'll get a little squeeze. Now, she got her ear tag caught in something and tore one off on the right side and we actually need to put this one on the right side but she's got a little tear in her ear so we're gonna put this back into the old hole hey <laughs> very good all right now we'll release the squeeze just like so and then we'll release the cow there you go awesome now all the cows are taken care of guys pretty cool <laughs> Well, I want to thank, take the time to thank Barry, my stepdad, for helping me out. Appreciate it. He knows cows, and I'm learning cows, and we're learning cows together. I'm still so. learning myself. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for joining us here on the Stony Ridge today. That's what it's all about. We do have, we're saying goodbye to LJ, to Little Jack. Little Jack is going home with uh, my stepdad, Barry, and we're going to go get the bull. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be putting the bull in here with the cows, and... Uh, start getting these guys bred for next year. We'll talk about gestation periods and all sorts of stuff like that. So that's it. Our small herd of 29 is all almost <laughs> good to go. So we've got to probably get a vet up here to go ahead and castrate these cows that need to be castrated. So we don't have five bulls. Either that or we're gonna take them to the market. We'll see. Thanks a lot guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come on Woo! Down to the Stony Ridge.